Well, if we're gonna do a review for this, we're gonna do it proper. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, a special little review here, reviewing Night Train to Munich. Now, I'll admit, I'm probably incredibly slow to this, but I didn't realize that you could rent or take out Criterion films from the library. There was a very small library across the street from my house in my hometown for a long time, and now where I've moved out here, it's a little bit bigger, and I saw that there was Criterion films in the library. I was like, oh. I've heard about this one for a little while now. It's directed by Carol Reed, who directed The Third Man. It's got Rex Harrison, which I've always heard about, but I've never seen him in a film. And this is a treat to watch. This film was released in 1940, right as the war was starting. This movie is about the war, about to start. And it was released once the war was already a full year underway. That alone is amazing to me, because that's such an oddity in terms of time. There's a series that Netflix released a few years ago called Five Came Back. It was about five really prominent Hollywood directors who made films during the Second World War, both for propaganda and for commercial purposes. And this film is one of the ones that I think they mentioned on the side. It wasn't directed by any of the ones who are part of the five, but it's still a very interesting concept in terms of a film being about a war before it really even started. The film is about a Czechoslovakian uh, maker, a metal maker, who has to flee the country after the Nazis and Invade. He and his daughter go to England, but then they are kind of captured by hidden Nazi agents and they're brought back. All the while, Rex Harrison's character, Gus Bennett, volunteers to go back and get them. He infiltrates the Nazi high command to get these two back. And it is a very fun little movie. Admittedly, the first 30 minutes of it is like, oh, oh, okay, that was pretty easy. Oh, wait, now they're back again. There is this little bit of tug and pull with the film before it starts, but then once it gets on a train, it is full-on nail-biting fun. I was very surprised at how witty the humor is, considering the, you know, the whole situation of what the film is about, but I enjoyed the witty remarks, the witty banter between the main characters. Rex Harrison in this film is very fun to watch. I can see why he was such a huge name. This was one of Margaret Lockwood's big movies, too, and she's not as important as I thought she would be. Really, it's between Rex Harrison and Paul Heinrich, who plays Carl Manson. All while this is going on the train, there are these two British citizens who are still in Germany because the war hasn't officially been declared yet, and they're dealing with all the bureaucracy of the Nazi high command and the German police and everything there. These two are funny, very witty with each other. I love the banter between them, and I love how they get involved in the story. They're just two regular, ordinary citizens who decide to help Rex Harrison when he's in a bit of a pickle, and I like that humane aspect. I like that regular everyday man aspect. This film was made quite quickly, but it was apparently a very big hit. It had a really good reception. The two screenwriters had worked on some Alfred Hitchcock films in the past, and they hadn't really got the credit that they had uh, supposedly deserved, and this film really recognized them. The train part is very well done, and the chase that happens afterwards is also a fun and kind of a little bit maybe some might find silly with the gun shootouts because Rex Harrison is literally doing this for, I don't know, about five minutes and he never <laughs> has to reload. I was quite impressed when that six shot revolver had released its 30th round. <laughs> Either way, I like Night Train in Munich. I enjoyed it. It's a very quick 90 minute film, but it's a cool look back into history. I would definitely say you should see it if you have the opportunity to, because it'll be 90 minutes that you just, you won't regret watching it. It's a very fun movie. In the end, I'm gonna give Night Train in Munich a six out of seven. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. And I'm really happy now that I have the opportunity to watch some of these films from the library obviously depend on what I can find there but I've always been hesitant to because I don't want to pony up 40 bucks for a movie that I don't really know but I also want to experience it at the same time so I'm happy that I have this opportunity now and you will be seeing more Criterion film reviews from me in the future. In the end guys I hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video my name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.